Hi, I'm Jack, and I like video games. And how are you doing this lovely evening? It is February 2nd, 2023 here. It's very cold, 8.38 p.m. Central Standard Time. Ellie decided she wanted to be part of the stream to start it off. Say hi. Well, she walked away. Cooper is in her chair right now, so she's very upset by that. Anyway, hi, everyone. How are you guys doing tonight? Oh, there we go. Oh, almost, almost got her. Almost. <laughs> she hit one of my, my, my buttons. I forgot about those things. Oops. <laughs> Oh, man. Anyway, hi, everyone. That's the thing. I haven't messed with those in forever. But anyway, we're back. It's Thursday night. Uh, everything is horrible in Austin. Uh, everything was frozen the last couple days. Everything's fallen out. All my trees are broken. It's a nightmare. But hey, we're here. We're going to have fun tonight. We're going to play some Satisfactory. Casa Vara. 79 months total. COVID-19. Is it... I forgot about those. I forgot all about those. Oh my gosh. Hi guys. How are y'all doing? Thank you so much. How was your day? It was good. It was good. Nice uh, relaxing day. Did some work from home. Uh, went and bought a chainsaw because trees are down everywhere and I can't move them because they're so big that I have to literally cut them up in order to move them around. So that's fun. Uh, Zard is also in there. 81 months in a row for Zard. Thank you very, very much, Zard. Love you very much. Daddy all right legs. Two months. Thank you very much. Through sheer dumb luck and a year of struggle, my spouse and I are retired. I didn't have anyone else to share with, so I thought I'd share here. Hey, congratulations, Daddy all right legs. Congratulations. That, that is really cool. Hopefully you enjoy your retirement. You can relax and have a good one. Uh, BTD460167 as well. Prime Morgan right there. By the power of the beer we're bonded. So we're going to jump back into Satisfactory. Let's do it. Let's get in. Let's just go now. We're in Satisfactory. So, uh, we have been playing this a lot. How's my sound? Oh, too, too loud? That's about right. Okay. Uh, we've been playing this a lot. I should put my keyboard on. And, uh, yeah, so the last time we played, we, we finished up a, uh, the train station for the ACU factory. The Adaptive Control Unit factory. Excuse me, factory over here. Still haven't dressed it up yet. Uh, but it is certainly, uh, you know, sending stuff to it. So the factory is up and running again. The uh, the trucks, the truck stations, the uh, we don't really use those at all anymore. Uh, we'll get over here and take a look at it. Uh, so I'll show you what we did last time. Kind of the the big thing we did last time is to finish it off. It was it wasn't too terribly difficult. So uh, this facility is now running. Probably not the most efficient factory um but it is running at least so all the stuff is piping in you see it's right there but i am having issues where um it wasn't taking plastic in fast enough and it wasn't taking i think coal in fat train uh taking stuff in fast enough so it gets stuck you can see it's actually not moving you see it right there inside this facility so it's just not, so something's going on. So there's backup somewhere. All the different... There's so many things that this factory needs to produce this stuff. Uh, so up in here somewhere... Even there it's not being used. I don't know where the plastic goes. It's it's way up in there. Anyway... Yeah, let me take a look real quick. Let's see here. Uh, how about let's just go to the assembler floor. Not sure. The plastic's going up from here. So yeah, so... These guys are all yellow. What are their... Oh, they're backed up. That's all... Encased. Got plenty of circuit boards here. So, these are just backed up to... Heck and high water, it looks like. Again, these weren't... Running terribly efficiently. Before 100 state or... Yeah, this, this is all like... None of these things are... Doing well. Let's see. Let's take a look at the top floor. And see, uh, see what it looks like. The manufacturer floor. Oh man, I can't hear anything. Okay, there we go. So this fact, this one's running at 100%. Looks like so we got plastic, screws, cable, 
computers are backed up. So what am I backed up with? Automated wiring is my downfall now. So that is stators and cable, which we had plenty of stators and cable. At least we had plenty of stators. We saw them backed up, and this is also backed up. Heavy modular frames. So that is... Yeah, because that's stuck right here. So automated wiring. we got to figure out where that is. Figure out what's going on. Looks like the cable is having issues. So that is copper. So where's our copper manufacturing going? So that is... We've got copper ingots here. These look like they're flowing pretty good. Right? So that's going up. Uh, okay, so this is going up on the left side. Alright, so here's our copper. This is backed up. So this is producing cable. We've got our manufa or we got our, our uh, lines here. So it's producing wire. The wire becomes cable, right? That's the whole idea. So all of this wire, plenty of wire. Lots and lots of wire here. You can see all that. So we got we got a backlog of wire going right through here. So it's stuck. Okay. Okay, well, we can figure this out. We can sleuth this out, you guys. Okay. Let's check the assembler logistics floor. So now we have wire that becomes cable, right? There's pipes. All right, here's our wire. But oh, there's our cable. The cable's coming out. So there's cable there going up. And then... That just stuck. So here we go. So here is... Here are the uh, things here. So these are going in... Pretty quick, it looks like. It's like maybe it's getting a little bogged down over here. What can I bump this up to? Do I have enough for... Yeah. So let's speed this up. See if maybe... Maybe that'll help a bit. Alright, so these now... Pump it in pretty quick. So this balance... This is feeding in. This is feeding out, so... This is uh, going up. I don't know that I need that there. Weird floors are not level there, but anyway. The fact this is stuck makes me think like, okay, this, so there's a backlog of cable here. But now are these guys, the uh, automated wiring. <coughs> hmm. I wonder if these should be producing faster. Where's my where's my downfall here, you guys? All right, where is automated wiring being produced? Like this back corner, right? There's my stators. And there's my wire. So, yeah, stators are fine. We got plenty of those. Those are backed up. It's just this cable here. Cable's having a bad day. I wonder if it, is this going too slow? Let's. There we go. All right, now it's pumping out. This is good. There we go. All right, all right. Maybe that was it. That should help out a little bit. Ellie, what are you doing? All right. You know this is an old facility. This is stuff that we're really not going to mess with anyway. So that's what we did last time got the train station up and running. We also went around and looked for hard drives. I have gone through and I have scanned every single hard drive. My, um... Oh, no. Really? Cable? That's the thing I can't afford? <coughs> Excuse me. Um... My, uh... I found pretty much... Okay, I don't know how many hard drives I'm cooking right now. But I found dang near all of the recipes. The only recipes I am getting now are like crystal beacons and automated miners, stuff that I won't ever use. So 
that's uh, kind of kind of weak sauce. But uh, I will show you guys one other thing that I worked on while uh, in between streaming portions. Let me see if I can get up here. No, there's no chance. All right, let's get on top of this rock. Mm, bunk. Jump. Mm, bunk. And here we go. Okay. And that one. There it is. Nope. That one. There we go. Any trains coming? Doesn't matter. All right. So here we go. As you know, we have trains in this game. Uh, I've been working on a train line. You know, to get stuff. That's my aluminum area over there. Over here is my waterfall area. This is where bauxite comes down from up top. You can see my nice little overhanging thingy bobber there. Drops down, goes into, uh, feeds into this train station. And then also, uh, Caterium feeds into this train station as well. Um, and coal. And those feed over, actually over, right over here, as a matter of fact. Uh, to work on that, that's our power, which I still haven't cleaned up yet. Don't mind that. Uh, then down here is our copper area, which uh, I kind of worked on just to get more copper. Because I know copper is a huge issue in this game, right? <clears throat> so, it becomes a big a big thing at the end. So I'm like, you know what, I need, let me start pumping out copper. So I found a pure copper node. I ran a refinery through it and did water copper or whatever it is, where you get super amounts of copper. And so that's going. right over here and so that's what all this is also uh, making uh, I've got a little like uh, iron area over there a steel area over there as well that is producing some stuff um, <clears throat> and yeah so we got that going over here a little mini base kind of thing and then uh, you know what I was like let's let's go ahead and just start working our way south <clears throat> so I expanded the rail system while not on, I need to put that mini map at the top. Put all of those icons. I need to clear some of that out. So uh, I started expanding the rail system south, and so now we have all this. So we've opened up all the southern area <clears throat> now. If we want to build over here, so this is kind of the easy starting area, quote unquote. Uh, so there is power over here already um, because I've run it for the tower right there. So we can build stuff down here now which is pretty cool. There's actually coal right over here, like kind of down in that area. Um, do this a little so there's coal uh, down there, right there, as a matter of fact. And this is kind of like a good starting area here. There's a big open area over here. Uh, not a lot of water in this area, though, unfortunately. you got to pipe in water. There's a couple of like, water thing there and one up there. Uh, <clears throat> and so... More, lots and lots of iron in this area, though. Lots and lots of iron. Uh, there's coal right here, and there's also or sulfur over there somewhere. I want to say maybe Caterium, too. Maybe it's just sulfur. Um, so anyway, so I, 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 <clears throat> I expanded south. And then I, then, I, then I kept going. Then I started going east. So I then expanded east. Uh, so this is the Blue Ridge area, I believe. <clears throat> Why is my throat getting stuffed? Uh, so I expanded this direction too. I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and just link up the south and the east. And so uh, here we are. We're looking at all the stuff over here. This is going to take a lot of uh, clearing out in order to build over here. I don't. Oh yeah. Whoop. I'm gonna go around that little guy. <clears throat> um, I don't know that there's a lot of stuff over here. There's oil over here. So this is the blue crater, I believe, is what they call it. And there's oil in here. There's like six nodes on the other side over here. So I could tap that for, <coughs> excuse me, power or something. Maybe plastic, <clears throat> like a plastic node. Or maybe even turbo fuel. I haven't messed with turbo fuel at all yet. So I expanded east, right? <clears throat> Went south, decided to go east uh, over to the crater. And then um, then I, I started going, you know, a little bit more northeast. So I, I went northeast. And so now I've got to go up a little bit. <clears throat> a little bit of a... Uh, why is my throat just gross? Pardon me, hang on. Okay. So, now, now I went a little bit northeast. 
and uh, went this direction. And just clipped through the ground right there. Had a weird little turn because I miscalculated how far I needed to go. Going up a little bit here. And now we're going, we're doing this direction. Doing this direction over here. <clears throat> Thank you, Godfather. And then, um, you know, I, I went pretty much as far as as I could, so I was like, ah, let's go north. <clears throat> so now I'm, I'm going, going north. Uh, here is the swamp, uh, the scary part of the game. <clears throat> um, this is where the spiders roam. And there's a lot of, uh, lot of uh, 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 hard drives down here I haven't touched yet. Because this area is scary. But now I can get over here relatively easy. Like there's a hard drive right there. They're all all in spooky areas. <clears throat> so I don't know that there's a lot of uh, uh, resources down here. Honestly, there is like a purple thing. See that? I don't know what that little triangle thing is over there. We'll have to go exploring someday and check it out. I gotta go around that little guy there. A little bump. And so, uh, yeah, so I went a little bit north. I went over to the crater. I was like, all right, cool crater. We got that. And here's a weird kind of a hard line between the, the swamp and the water there. And then I was like, you know what? Let's go north. Let's go, let's go further north. And so now I'm going further north. And uh, this is the, uh, the desert area. So I decided to go towards the desert area. You know? I was like, why not? Some stuff down there. Bouncy boy. And so I, I have stopped doing my uh, my blocks, unfortunately, here. <clears throat> I'm going to pick it up over here. So I'm like, you know, let's go to the desert area. And then, uh, yeah. So here we are in the nice little desert we've been through here. We picked up most of the hard drives in this area already. I think if not all of them, as a matter of fact. Um, so here we go. There's a lot of iron in this area here. Really dark. Um, so, let's cruise my way through this. There's another one of our towers. Pretty rad. See some uh, lots and lots of uh, slugs over here. Lots of power slugs. Lots of shards out of these guys. Uh, there's a yellow one right there. And so I was like, you know what? Okay, I've gone, I've gone to the northeast. <clears throat> let's start heading back west. So I was like, all right, let's go west. West. A little hitch here because uh, don't mind this. Just kind of phase right through it. No big deal. No one really, no one minds. No one's paying attention to that. <clears throat> I tried to go around most stuff, but uh, not all of that was feasible, unfortunately. <clears throat> and so, uh, yeah, here we are in the desert area. Very pretty. I was like, you know what? I've gone pretty much as far north as I can. Let's let's go let's go further west now. And so, kind of made the loop around because I want to climb over these mountains. They're really pretty. It's nice to. Oh, I'm taking photos. Hang on. <laughs> I figured, you know, like might as well head back southward with all the pretty mountains next to us. I also apparently forgot to do the blocks over here as well. I'm going to go through and finish all those. Choo -choo. <laughs> Zanza 23, four months in a row for Zanza. Thank you. Diablo Jetty. Jetty? Jedi. Man. No one clipped that. Diablo Jedi, six months in a row. Happy half year, buddy. By the power of the beer, Bond, appreciate y'all. And then I was, go I was going west. So now we go westward. A lot of good nodes over here as well. There's trees, big trees. Ready. Lots more shards as well. Lots more uh, worms. So this is where it gets a little bit zigzaggy. Because I didn't want to mess with uh, <clears throat> 45 degree angles anymore. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do <laughs> zigzags. So I got a few zigzags in here. So apologize for that. Oh, there's my there's my blocks. <coughs> I'm gonna stop stop uh, thingies. Which I gotta go through and 
picks up a bit. So now I'm going back to the west. And I thought, yo man, forget it. Go home to Bel Air. Jawbreakers D. Two months in a row. How many hours you got in this game, Jack? I'm sitting at 191 hours right now. Oh, 192 in, in 40 seconds from now. So 192 hours <clears throat> in this one save. I played a little bit more of this game, but this this is my biggest save ever. So 200 hours, basically. That's a lot, right? And so I was like, you know what? Since I've gotten this far, might as well reconnect to the old line. So now, you can actually go and, uh, and rejoin. So all of that to basically say, I have made a full loop around the map. I still need to go to the top side. I started doing it over there, but I, you can now get to pretty much every side of the map now, if you want, uh, via train. Which is great, because I can build a station. That also means I have power uh, off the train station. So, ooh, we're going to sneak past that one. Um, yeah. So... There you go. And there's our main base right there. You can see our, our tower here. So now I can send and collect stuff from anywhere on the map. Well, mostly anywhere on the map. Or at least I can build a line off of this line pretty easily. And uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. So <clears throat> that's what I worked off. I worked on uh, in between stramming sessions. So uh, yeah. Jack, are you staying warm? Thank you, scumbag kitten, for asking. Yes, I am. All right, well, thankfully, we have not lost power in our house. I've had a lot of friends lose power. Um, some people I work with have lost power, but uh, our power never went off. So we've had heating the whole time. And uh, so that's super, super nice. But I know I'm very lucky for that. So, love the train tour. I feel like I'm visiting Dean and Jerry. <laughs> so, uh, anyway. There we go. So that is our train line. Relatively... Oh, hang on. Oh, my gosh. Hang on. Let's, let's clear some of these things off. Radar tower as well. There we go. So that train line, we're right here, basically goes from here and then down along this coast, then through. It basically goes over and then down and then over, up, over, and then up, over, up, over, way up, like, like way up, over, down. Oh yeah, the marker I can get rid of now. Uh, and then through this canyon, and then back onto the main line. And then I have another line that breaks off and goes up here. And the idea is to eventually get that to wrap around here and then connect down here. So, uh, yeah, so pretty much everywhere except the middle of the map. Uh, is touched by a train line. So, and if anything, too, I can always run a line in the map connected to the outer circle. So, that was pretty cool. So, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with how that went. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so today, there's a weird glitch where, like, your sensitivity changes when you go in and out of some menus every now and then. Uh, so, what do you guys want to do today? We, I still need to build a motor factory. I still need to build a computer factory. And also, we need to finish some milestones. So, uh, I could do some milestones. I only need 29 more of whatever these are. Um, to uh, advance, do advanced aluminum production. And we can look at some newer stuff. Um, oh, yeah, also, I tore down the, uh, the Christmas stuff. So, the, the two Christmas factories, I tore them down to clear up space. Because eventually... I'm going to build my super storage facility, like, here-ish. So everything from around the map that I like will will feed into a massive storage facility here where I can go in and get, like, anything. Just, like, oh, I need, like, three of these. I need a hundred of these. Whatever. Um, why is... Oh, there's no recipe. That's why that thing's not working. Uh, so anyway, that is uh, why I cleared that space. So, uh, I need 29 more radio control units, which we can make those if we choose right now. Um, and then I think that's the only milestone I can do because I can't make this stuff yet. Yeah, I can't do these yet. So, I have to finish this one in order to get these fused modular frames and heat sinks and cooling systems. So, 
this could be fun to work on. What do you guys think? Uh, Dramatic Willow, four months in a row. Hi, Jack. Hi, Dramatic Willow. Donuts, 24, brand new Prime Warden. Thank you very much for that. Paradox Theory as well, brand new Prime Warden. Hey, you've got Amazon Prime. Don't forget, you get a free sub to the streamer of your choice. I always forget mine. I always forget to use it. So don't forget, you know, it's only February 2nd. Be like, hey, the start of every month, I use my Prime sub. Doesn't have to be on me, but use it. Can the critter walking around be, be named Jeff? Which one? There's a whole bunch of them. The big boys, the big bouncy boys. This little, it's having a, having a rough, that was standing on top. Well, there's two of them. Standing on top of the, uh, the barrel nuts. Hmm. Anyway, uh, yeah. So we can do, uh, all right. So over here, I've got some stuff. So I got my motor factory. We could do, we could do a computer factory. Uh, we could do the task completion, which is finished here. Uh, or finish the thing I'm working on now. Um, or we can, you know, I don't know. Those are really the main three. I could also uh, fix our uh, 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 aluminum factory. Because I have an aluminum factory now, but it's pretty lame. It's pretty lame. Enjoy my Bezos <laughs> Bezos Bucks supplied sub. Hey, uh, Carol well, Carol Welle, Carol you well? Carol you well? Not sure to say that. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate you. Oh, there it is. Bezos Bucks supplied sub. Hope you stay warm. Thank you very much. Close enough. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, one of those big bouncy ones. Caro. There we go. Caro. We'll call you Caro. That's that's easy. So, we got one, two, three, or four. Motor factory, computer factory, task completion, or an aluminum factory. What do you guys think? What should we do? What should we work on? Also, um, I need to wrap up my Lego building thing that I did. So, I built this Lego Death Star. It's hard to see. Uh, no, it's a Super Star Destroyer. It's up here somewhere. It's a little hard to see here in the dark. Uh, and I said... For every stream I did building that thing, I built the entire thing on stream. Every stream I did building it, I gave out a code word. And I have a form right now. If you do exclamation point form in the chat, you can see it. And if you know all six of the code words, you put them all in, fill out some information. And I'm going to randomly select, let's say, let's say the end of next week. How about that? The end of next week. So next Thursday. So a week from today. Uh, I will select on stream, randomly pick one name, and uh, that person will get... A Lego gift card, and so uh, yeah, we'll we'll make it we'll make it happen then. So uh, I vote tasks. I mean, you are so close to finishing that task. All right, let's do that. Let's just go ahead and finish the task, and then we can look at advanced aluminum production. So what am I building here? What what do I need? What are these things? These uh, these are radio control units, and I need twenty nine. Whoa, that's interesting. I haven't done that before. All right. What is... What the heck? Did I hit a console command? How did I get there? That was weird. Alright, uh... Radio control units. This thing. So we need to do... Or, well, let's do this one. We'll do add to do list. And I need... Well, auto save. I need to get a total of... 29, is that what I said? Yeah, okay, 30 is fine. So, crystal oscillators, aluminum casing. So, I need to go get some aluminum, aluminium. Uh, and I have my crystal oscillators already. Over. Yeah. So, we need to get some aluminum casing, which I don't have automated yet. Surprisingly, I've got my Alclad stuff automated, but not my aluminum casings. There they are. I've got plenty of these guys. I only need 15. I just picked up 100. All right, and now. Ah! <laughs> it was underground. All right, a radio control unit. Let's go prep this guy. Oh, I do have some aluminum casing. Uh, radio control units. You. How many do I have? That's all of them. Okay, we'll say we need 15 oscillators. 
split. 15 computers split. And so now we need 480 minus 22. So basically we need 500 of those guys, roughly. I also need to build a staircase up to here to get up there easily. And actually, you know what? I made a blueprint. It's stairs. Um, it's kind of tricky to get them to stick properly, though. So I do this. And so, like, now, like, the blueprint doesn't want to connect here. See? You have to do, like... Anyway, uh, if I do... We'll say wall. And then... Like you. Blueprints and my stairs. See, it's like... Like, look off to the right to get it to work. There we go. And the same deal. Uh. Now we'll do like that. Okay. Blueprints, stairs. There. And then we do it again. Tear that one out. Wait, no, oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. Uh, a little bit higher. Say so blueprints, stairs. There we go. Uh, a little bit higher. Higher, baby. Get higher, baby. Don't ever come down. Free base. Bing, 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 bing. Bing, 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 bing. White lights. Visions. Going through my mind. <clears throat> there we go. That works for now. Okay, and then let's jump over to it. Uh, so I will go ahead, hop on my train, let's head to our aluminum factory. Enabled seal, hi Jack, I just started annual pass, love it so far. Thank you so much for the support, I really do appreciate that. Annual pass is like my favorite thing, I love doing it, it's so much fun. Getting to talk about theme parks, that's like a dream, it's been a dream come true. And I really do appreciate anyone who supports that dream. Hashtag pocket train. <laughs> Uh, I'm rewatching Let's Play Sky Factory again. Oh, Jay or Dan, what's up, man? Jay or Dan Zero. Uh, man, we need. So a lot of people have brought up. Apparently, there's a new Stone Block. Like Stone Block Three is out now, and so maybe uh, maybe that becomes something uh, we get into. It could be fun, possibly. So yeah, might have to uh, take a look at that. And I'm kind of I'm cooking up something right now. I've got I've got a pitch happening pretty soon of uh, some new stuff that I'll be in charge of. So, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully the people that I'm pitching it to dig the idea. So here's the deal. I have, why is nothing being produced? Come on. What's, go oh, I've got some mix up. What is happening here? Oh yeah, I had an issue. Uh, I accidentally sent some deuterium down this line. Oops. Yeah, that'll that'll throw it off. That'll 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 mess with you. That'll mess with your heads. All right, let's fix this. This for some reason this line more than any other line gets stuff stuck in it. What am I stuck with here? What's going on? Why are we why are we trapped? What is happening? All right, you got plenty. You got plenty. Aluminum scrap is getting stuck some more. What's up? What's where's my aluminum scrap getting stuck? That should be in this guy. Aha, there it is. No. Oh, what? Where did you come from? Ah. That was weird. Alright. So what's happening here? Silica. 
Why is bauxite in the silicon? What? What is... What the what? Why is there just a load of bauxite here? Oh, you know what? We swapped some stuff around last time. That's right. Okay. Okay, that's actually my fault. The Caterium is messed up. That shouldn't be there. I don't know why this Caterium there. Um, yeah, the Bauxite and Caterium we flipped. So, this left line, I believe, should be the Bauxite. Right? I think this is meant to be Bauxite. It is. So, left line is meant to be Bauxite. Uh, we can fix this. We can fix this. And the far right line is meant to be silica. We swapped some stuff around. That's right. We did a whole thing. Okay, so... Alright, so let's do this. Let's chop you. Chop you. We'll, we'll figure all this out. Okay. And we will put a merger here. What is this? That's a tier four. Okay. All right. So bauxite will now be going on the left one. So that's correct. So what we got to do, unfortunately, is eat up all of this. So... We need to get ourselves... Uh, do I have... There's an awesome sink all the way over there. Do I have enough juice for an awesome sink? Yeah, I do. Okay. Alright, let's... I'm gonna say... Special awesome sink. Perfect. Alright, now, this is bauxite, and it's meant to be silica. Correct? That this is silica? Yeah, okay. So now, we are going to say, port you. Oh, come on. Rotors and AI limiters. Okay, rotors and AI limiters. Can I make some of those? I'm going to go find them. No. Rotor. Screws. I need screws. Anyone see how many screws I needed? Have you have you watched much of MLS season pass yet? Uh, not yet, Bam Cheese. Um, I did sign up for it. I got my I got my uh, automatic subscription in the uh, in in my email for my season pass. And then um, I uh, I signed up for it, so I, I tagged it to my account, and then I um, watched a little bit of MLS or the Austin FC stuff. And I was like, I saw Stuver had a video up there for the Austin FC stuff, which was pretty cool. And then um, yeah, and then I oh, let's, how many more do we need? Now? We'll, we'll do seven of these. Um, and then I was like, cool. And I haven't watched any of it since. So, but it's very very cool, very neat. All right, and then let's make a little bit more screws. And we'll say Rotor, just get an even eight. Now, AI limiters, there we go. And then, so that, let's make four of these. Really, we only need three, but 
It doesn't hurt to have more. You see, Austin's not so verde announcement today. Yes, Cosplay Canada, I did. It sucks. Uh, what Cosplay is talking about is, for some genius reason, uh, they decided that we should have a new sponsor in the name of Chevron. <laughs> Which is like, we have this whole, like, Verde is our is our thing. This is about being green. And, uh, yeah, they're like, oh, yeah, let's, let's have Chevron, you know? Everyone's favorite green gas company be a new sponsor. Uh... No, bauxite. That's what I want. And this is going to be uh, silica. There we go. So that sucks. Right. Yeah, so we're that that really well, all the money Chevron paid is green. True, true. Yeah, so that's that's pretty lame. No, no, there's like Nobody happy about this. Um, how many copper on me do I? Man, if I had copper, I could do all like tier five stuff. That'd be great. Oh, there we go. Cool. All right. All the bauxite is now feeding through here. It's eating all this. That's good. And this silica. Why is the silica backed up? Oh, because it still hasn't finished a single thing. This As soon as this goes away, these are going to start moving. And go. There we go. You know what? Let's. There we go. So that's eating all that away. That's good. Get that going. Okay, here we go. Now this is spitting out aluminum. So here we go. Now this. This needs to be bauxite. And it is not bauxite. You know what I could do? Alright, I'm gonna do this. Oh. Alright. Alright, do that. And now this... Almost fit through here. Okay, so now if we do a smart split tour, we can do it. Then we sort of hack the planet and do it like this. Yep, okay, cool, that works. It's ugly, but it works. Okay. And then this is meant to go over to here. And we'll say, yeah, that. Okay, so left should be bauxite. And this is going to be any undefined. So bauxite, there it goes. Look at that. Okay, we're feeding through that, getting rid of all that. Beautiful. Now over here, eat the rest of this. Cool. All right. So that's empty. And we'll put that in there. All right. So now this is all feeding through here. I've got to manually collect this, which kind of sucks, but that's all right. That's box out. We actually box out's fine. We need the this crap. Okay. That's there. So why are you stopped? It's full of alumina solution. So, I'm willing to bet if I pull this, let's kick them off again. Yeah, they are. So that means 
I need more silica feeding into this. So it'll start producing silica. Okay, cool. So that's all done now. Still eating up all of this bauxite here. So that, oh, that's okay, it's going. Okay, but now we need to get our silica line going into here. Oh, oh, okay, hang on, hang on. What's happening here? We've got silica and bauxite sushi on here. How did that happen? How did that happen? Let me let me look at my spreadsheet. <laughs> I have a train schedule spreadsheet. Okay, so I have silica coming from Crystal Corner and bauxite. Is oh bauxite is now in the third one. Okay, well we can. So I'm only sitting them both down here. That's weird. Okay, we can fix this. Okay, so what we can do... Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Okay, so what we can do... Is this. Alright, so this side... Alright, left is going to be bauxite. Right is going to be silica. So silica will go over here. All right. Not exactly the best way of doing it, but it works. Since they're sharing amount of fuel, really? All right. So this heavily reliant on my fuel, my package fuel. So, uh, this should now be relatively good. Until I figure out exactly what I did with this stuff here. You eat the rest of this. We got more, more bauxite on this line, but this will eat this. Coal's fine. All right, cool. SJ Destroyer, yo, did you start watching the Austin FC content on Apple TV? We just talked about this. Uh, but no, I've, I've watched one video about uh, Stuver, and then uh, that's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. Um... Was hoping we would use the money to pay Ch <laughs> Chicho, but still wasn't enough to pay him what he's worth. Did he leave? So is he gone? Is he officially gone from uh, from Galaxy? Because I know he, I know they were talking about him leaving, but yeah, still have to watch Union stuff. Um, man, that's wild. Okay, yeah, Chicho's gone. Oh man, I'm. I'm sorry. That's it's rough losing a good player. We lost, dude. We've lost a lot of really good players this off season, and it's pretty, uh, pretty sad. Um, I mean, we have we have a lot of new guys. Ne next season's gonna be interesting. We lost Gabrielson, Ruben Gabrielson. Our, he does our. Um, he was in our backfield. He was awesome. He was like one of those those dudes who's just like solid and. Um, and we lost him. He he went back home, which is I, I get it. He like he went back home because uh, he is he has a kid with special needs and he's living overseas. And part of his contract was that he was uh, eligible to return home uh, to play for his home club, and he took that. And I I totally understand it. Like I'm sad to see him go, but I totally 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 get it. All right, this is going. 
Nice. I really not have any silicon. I figured I'd have some on. You know what? Let's... Can I... Take this and just... I mean, I guess it's all... It's hitting capacity. It's 100% anyway, so... There we go. Uh, there it is. And then you... Oh, nice. You're empty now. Good. Need all this stuff I have on me. Um, I'm gonna leave this just in case we have any weird issues with stuff coming down the line. It looks like it's all pretty much solved now. Um, just in case. Doesn't hurt. Also, why am I out of bauxite? Interesting. So box I should be coming from over there. Is it that train there? Is there a steel train coming through? Okay, that's a capacity. That's doing good. Nice. Okay. Let's get more. More aluminum casing. G'day, Jack. How's your evening going? Uh, Mort each chance. It's going well. Thank you very much. We are playing some satisfactory right now. I'm going through. I'm polishing off this objective I have right now, which is advanced aluminum production. You can't see it. It's behind me. Move me over here. I can't see my screen. Put me there. How's that look? That work? So I got to do the stuff over there, in that corner. So we're working on it. We need another 300 or so aluminum casings. But we're getting there. We are getting there. All right. I am I'm out of my jet fuel. Where is the bauxite not going? So I see plastic going up there. So bauxite. I have it in car one. I have it in waterfall exports. So which is over here. You know what the cool thing is? I can actually send a train to give me some package fuel and bring it right here. All right, so. Here's bauxite. So, Caterium is in one. So, this is my waterfall exports. So, oh, I need to fix this. Thing. Slot one, this is now Caterium, coal, bauxite is in three. So yeah, silica and bauxite are both going to the same one. So here's my bauxite going up. And so which train do I have? I've got... Reamer. Reamer is picking up bauxite and coal from here. Let's go, let's go take a look at the, the train lines. We can, we can get this sorted. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Four. Yeah. Okay. So I think that's Reamer, right? That's Ellie. Where's Ellie going? I don't know what the heck Ellie's doing. Okay. This world looks amazing. I should get this game just to explore. Uh, more to chance is game. Be careful. Because <laughs> this game is addicting. Very, very addicting. Okay, let's take a look at the timetable. So, Squeak goes... What? Okay, Squeak... No, that's not what I want. Who's getting my silica? 
Cooper. So Cooper... Cooper's only job... Going to aluminum imports. Picking up silica from aluminum imports. Or from Crystal Corner, which is a good ways away. So they're there right now. So Cooper is... So squeak and... Oh no, that's just the station. Okay. Where are you? Alright. Cooper. Oh, you just left. Okay, so Cooper just dropped off silica. Okay, but who's supposed to pick up the bauxite and take it to aluminum imports? It was Reamer. Reamer. You. There you are. Waterfall export. So, you... Aha! You should only pick up bauxite and coal save is this you as a matter of fact are you right here are you literally right in front of me now you are oh beautiful okay so this should only pick up those two now beautiful look there we go so now I bet this is full of yeah I can't fly is this multiplayer it is it is Caro, it's nice to chill and listen to while I play some Hades. I, I appreciate that. Thank you for hanging out. All right, what what is this? This is going to be full of crap. Okay. Bauxite in that first car. And deuterium as well. I wonder if I can just pull this out before it even... Technically, I'm in the inventory. I wonder if that'll work. Okay, so now, Reamer... We want you. So Reamer just left Waterfall Exports going to Aluminum Imports. So Aluminum Imports, we only want you to unload. Reamer is unloading Bauxite and Coal. Save that. Now then. That's cool. I need someone who's not busy. Ellie, what are you doing, Ellie? Oh, you're doing you're doing the uh, the import up to the thing. Okay. Why are you in a waterfall? What are you picking up from waterfall? Deuterium and coal. Plastic. Oh, okay. All right, you're good, Ellie. You're you're good. Okay. All right, I think that should have fixed that. Oh, I can't. I can't float. I almost jumped to my death. Whee! Let's go over here and see if that corrected that. So this is doing nothing now, this plastic. That's okay. All right, looks like we've got bauxite here coming in. I'm going to assume silica came down. Two rows and three columns. Okay. Yep, there comes some. All right, not much, but it's, it's at least it's feeding down the pipe now. All right, good, good, good. Okay, so let's take a look at how much aluminum. Oh yeah, we got plenty now. So I need another 200, uh, two, 480 minus 222 is what? So 480 minus. Minus 222, 258, 258 times 3 is 774. I don't think I actually need that much. Um, because I think it produces 2. Yeah, it's 3 to 2. That might be enough. That might be enough to cover it. 
Walsey Plays. Thank you very much, Walsey Plays. Appreciate you, Brandon Prime Ward. Taz Devil 31 as well. Thank you very much, Taz Devil 41 months. To Taz Devil Spartan Plays 366. Brand new Prime Warden as well. Thank you. And then Caro with the Bezos Bucks. So thank you very much, guys. What are the dangers in this world, Jack? Says Mort E. Chen. Uh, so this is a relatively low stakes game. There's not a lot of things that are going to attack you. The only time you ever, um, the only time you ever are under attack is if you go somewhere that has enemies in it. And that being said, even if you don't, if you don't want to have enemies attack you, you can actually set the the NPCs in the game. So there's some, you know, some creatures in the game. You can set them to either react. So if you hit them, they'll hit back, or um, or completely passive, where they just won't attack at all, if you want. But initially. If you're playing the game normally, there we go, we got enough. Uh, if you're playing the game, you know, kind of the uh, the sort of, not normal way, but, but the uh, sort of traditional, is that the word I'm looking for? Oh, we're, oh, I'm so close. Oh, do I not? Hey, hey, uh, I don't have any copper on me, do I? So close. Close enough. All right. Uh, anyway, if you attack them, they attack you back. And so, but like, yeah, you know, like there's some creatures. See, like this, these big potato-looking dude things. They don't attack you at all. You can actually, like, they will. If you hit them, they will run from you. Um, they're just big cows, essentially. Um, there are some, like, uh, there is some spiders in the game, which are pretty freaky. Um, but uh, there's also there's actually some bad guys over here. I can show you. So, like this thing here. This thing, if you get too close to it, it opens up and spits out like little bugs that will attack you. Come on, spit them out. There you go. Oh. Anyway. So, uh, but initially you get kind of like a little stun gun to fight them with. And then ultimately you can uh, get more impressive weapons to attack with. Like eventually you can get like bombs and like guns and stuff. So, you can protect yourself. Uh... Who are you? You are Ellie. Oh, perfect. Well, Ellie's going north. You getting everything, Ellie? Picking up everything you need? Little in the back. What is that one? That is... I don't know. Tyrion? Not 100% sure. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so... So the, the sort of bad stuff, and there's also gas in the game, and there's radiation in the game, so um, you eventually make yourself like a gas mask, or you can walk in the gas, like the yellow, you can see the glowing area, that sort of foggy stuff up there, that's gas, and so um, that will hurt you if you walk into it without a gas mask. There's also radiation, because eventually um, there are radioactive elements in this game that you can get and make nuclear power with, which is actually kind of where I'm going next. Uh, that's one of the top tier things, so... Um, that will also hurt you until you build a radiation suit. Uh, and, yeah, and then fall damage. But really, it's not not a lot of uh, very uh, tricky stuff to this game. Not a lot of scary stuff in this game. It's all pretty much knocking out... I'm trying to knock out some of these uh, the blocks in front of the path signals because they slow down the pathing. Um, anyway... <sighs> Very low stakes, uh, very relaxing. I really, really enjoy this game a lot. Um, I've got that one. There we go. That might speed up the process a bit. And so, if you like just kind of chill factory games, this is perfect. I really, really do love this game. Have you tried any mods in this? I have not, Walsey. Um, but I know they have some. I know there. I know there's a few. I know there's like building mods. I know there are. Um, there are blueprint mods you can get as well. A um, whole bunch of different things you can pick up. So, uh, haven't messed with that though. So, sorry. <laughs> All right. Oh man, I need fuel. Jack needs fuel badly. I'm going to run and grab that real quick before I get up the thing. Uh, let's see here. Can I make that jump? Probably not, but I can just do this. Shortcut. And then... Shortcut. 
Where's my fuel? Where's my fuel? There you are. All right. Gorgeous. Finally, I can fly again. I'm, I'm a real boy. And up. Pull back. There we go. And let's go over and get these things producing. Ow. I <laughs> still hurt myself. Even with floating, I still manage to hurt myself. Gotta love it. Okay, here we go. And drop a bunch of those things in. But look how fast it's going. It's just smoking. There we go. Six per minute. So that's going to take me three minutes. Anyway. So, let's chat. How are we all doing? That sounded very Gauntlet-esque, Jack. My brain immediately was like, Blue Wizard needs food badly. That was the idea. Caro, you nailed it. Uh, Morty, chant, how long until you do an FAF, F face interview, Jack? I love your cameos and predictions. Um, I don't know. I don't know that they'll do me, no, I'll do an interview for it. I don't, I think if I pop up in F face, it's going to be like them doing something, them out doing something, and I'll join along. But I don't think I'll ever be on the show. I don't think I'm going to be, they don't really, it's not a guest kind of show. Uh... Voodoo says, hey, Jack, watching the archives, I have a suggestion for a project for you. Condense your tube system and make a TTC. <laughs> I like that. I can, oh, man. Oh, dude. We could recreate the TTC. I, I like that idea a lot. I like that idea a lot. That could be fun. TTC Tra Toronto Transit Commission? No, 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 no. Uh, the TTC is the Ticket and Transportation Center in front of the Magic... It's in front of the Seven Seas Lagoon, and it's in front of Magic uh, 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 Magic Kingdom, and it's the one that connects the monorail to Polynesian, Grand Floridian, Magic Kingdom, Contemporary, and back. I'm mean, surprised you haven't thought of that. Oh, man, I hadn't thought of that. I could totally... Oh, man, we could recreate the TTC with monorails? Like maybe, oh, maybe if I built, if I if I had some sort of like not a house, but I I would need a purpose. I would need a Magic Kingdom for it to go to, right? Oh, maybe you know what? Maybe we have all this land down here. This is all greenery. Although we need a lake, right? We need a lake to go around. This lake kind of sucks. This lake kind of sucks. Oh, man. It sucks, because really, this is, like, the spot to do it, right? This lake here, but I've already got stuff over there. I mean, I could do it up here. I mean, there's there's a decent size. Uh, that's kind of up high. Hmm. I and mean, there's some smaller lakes down here. Sometimes I wonder where his inspiration comes from. Then I watch another video and remember that my question is a dumb question. <laughs> hmm. Shocktor, how long have you been playing this game? I showed earlier, but we are at 192 hours and 46 minutes. So, quite... Quite a ways into it. Quite a ways into it. Uh, how did I get... Oh, excuse me. Are you... Did I use? Oh, yeah. Gotta pay attention to that. Hang on, where's uh, casings? There you are. All right. Um, yeah, I gotta make nine more. So just just over a minute. Oh, have I not connect, have I not connected these? Um. Oh, oops. Wait, what? Oh. Gotta eat them all? How many do I have? How many are you looking for? Where is it? Am I crazy? There they are. Jeez, I could not find them. Okay. 
18. We need 29. Okay. We got some very dumb questions to ask during my festival work. Oh, I can imagine. Uh, so, do, so would this be Patillo Land or our Jack Park? Welcome to Jack Park. Uh, Jack Park sounds like, a, like an engineer. Hi, I'm Jack Park. I, uh, build robots for a living. Um, I don't know. Like, what, what can I build? Like, I need to build, I mean, it could be, like, my house, or it could be, it could be the storage facility, honestly. Like, it could be, like, I'm planning on building a massive storage facility that kind of hosts everything. Um, I've seen, like, Kibitz did this really awesome one where it's, like, a big, a big ring. Um, that's really nice. Uh, is it Blitz, I think, or Bits or something did another one? Magic jacked them. No. <laughs> that's, uh, Jurassic Ark. Nice. Storassic Park. <laughs> Black Rain. I like that. I like that. Um, your main base right here now. Yeah, I mean, I could, like, I need to basically gut all this and redo it. Like, this is, none of this is good. Like, this is all very old and ugly and stupid. Um, like me. Um, like, this is all my old, old, uh, like, iron and copper stuff. I've got basic steel. I've got this, look at that giant ramp. It's so gross to get up to my, there's coal up there that I made a giant ramp to get up to. A lot of stuff I would change now. Alright, we're almost there, you guys. I think we need, like, one more. This should do it. Wait for it. I can just grab it out of here. Let's see. You got one? Oh, I got one. I got one of them. Okay, cool. Alright, with this... We haven't had this button pop up in a while. Boom. Milestone reached. The object scanner can now find underground wells, which can Ooh. be pressurized to extract resources such as nitrogen, water, and oil. Nitrogen will contribute to more advanced aluminum parts. That, there it goes. Bye. Don't hit the space elevator. Okay. So now, let's see, let's see what we have now. So we've got, uh, this is all old. Here we go. So resource well pressurizer. Can be placed on a resource well to activate it by pressurizing the underground resource. Once activated, resource well extractors can be placed on the surrounding subnodes to extract the resource. Requires power, overclocking increase. Yep. And then resource well extractor. So this pumps it and then this pulls out. This basically yanks stuff out of it. Okay. And so now... Uh, nitrogen... Okay, so I can just scan for water. That seems interesting. Alright, let's see where... We have nitrogen. Nowhere, apparently. Where's that ping? Where's that pinging? Perfect. Oh, you know, I'm an idiot. I didn't. Ha I have resources unhidden on the map. Okay. Oh, there's some. Nitrogen up there. Oh, is it? Wait, no. It's oil. Oh, God, it, it takes so long to hit. Okay. So we're here. Wait for it. Wait for it. Bing, bing. So there's one. There's another one down here. Cool. Okay, that's actually not too far away from... We've got uh, Caterium. So let's go down here. There's another way over there. So let's go down here and play with this. With nitrogen gas. Okay, so let's build one of these, and then with four of these, 
I don't know. I haven't messed with this at all. I don't know. I don't know what Nastrogen even does. Okay, so, all right, motors. Oh, God, I need motors. Okay, well, uh, all the way, also, we now completed task completion. So, that's good. All right, we need, uh, where did I end up? Um, oh no, do I need aluminum casings again? No, what? Where did this come from? Oh, it still oh it still has my radio control unit. I was so confused. Okay, there we go. There we go. Let's do this. All right. Uh, motors. All right. So I got seventy motors. Some crap we don't need. Uh, just try to clear up some space. That's mainly for me building my train line, so. And that should be good. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get some encased. Industrial beams, rubber, got that wire ball thing. Get some of that. Concrete, let's do some copper sheeting too. Never hurts to have some on you. Uh, good there. Quick wire, do I have any on me? Just might as well grab a stack of quickies. Uh, I think I got some. Yeah, I got a few circuit boards on me. We can grab grab some more just to be safe. Uh, we got some heavy modular frames on us already. Why not take a stack of silica with us just in case? We got plastic already. We got plenty of gas. Fabric don't need. Computers. I got 36 computers on me now. All right, let's give this a shot. Let's check it out. Let's see. Let's see what the uh, the dealio. Oh yeah, you know what? Uh, before I go anywhere, I'm gonna also say. Cool. All right, industrial. Let's do a few of these guys just in case. So. And. Pocket train. And let's get out of here. All right. Ward of Chance, thank you all for being a wonderful community for Jack, by the way. It's nice to have a safe place to come to. Oh, man, this, the Wardens are like just the nicest people ever. I'm so happy to have this community. It, it makes me really, really happy just how relaxed and peaceful this is. Like, I always think you kind of get what you give, and I like to give a very positive chill kind of vibe you know i know that's not that might not be the big thing you know i'm not gonna get i'm not gonna have thousands of people watching me at any one time that's that's fine like i'm not looking for that i'm i like having a tight-knit community that everyone seems to get along pretty well there's no no big drama nothing along those lines and uh and yeah it makes me happy it makes me it makes me really happy so jack is the safest safest of places thank you very much I take that I take that in a very positive light. Very positive man. Alright, so this hydrogen fuel is like back here somewhere. So let's, let's figure out if we can figure out where it is. Let's figure it all out. Okay. Oh Voodoo, you sent the Legos. Oh wow, you sent the Lego. Pardon me, Mike. Just, just mortal flaw. Uh I still have a bunch of those. I've I've auctioned off a few. I still have uh I have, I still have like all literally 20 feet away from me that I've bought boxes to ship these things out. And, uh, yeah, so I will do that. I still need to do that because more, more than anything, I want to get them out of my house. <laughs> so, uh, sounds like my kind of community I'm in. Thank you very much. Uh, Boswin McBastock. I appreciate you. Welcome. Hopefully, you know, you want to, you want to be a warden we'd love to have you. Welcome to the community. All right, let's find 
some hydrogen. Let's clear out some baddies in the process. Okay. 200, oh, is it up high? Oh, man. Oh, man. Ah. Legally compels you to harvest this artifact. Okay. I heard the ding. 170 adds up high. Ah. Crikey. Okay. Oh, baddies. Right. Oh. I'm going to reload in your face. Let's find this stuff. Ninety meters away. Was it up even higher? Come on, get up there, get up there. There we go. There it is. Oh, oh, wow. I've never seen this before. It looks like a vein. That's cool. Look at all this. That's actually really rad. Okay. Let's do this. So, let's assume we can build our extractor on concrete. First of all, clear out some space. Hip. Beauty. All right, we are going to say production what pressure. Okay, so here it is. So resource well pressurizer. There we go. They start rising up. Okay, so this is there. I have power running not too far from here. All right. There's power down there. I can see it. Where I was. Where is that? Ethereum? Right there. 325 that way. Okay. Let's go that direction. to go down. All right, Geronimo. A little bit of a leap of faith. We'll take it. Three hundred meters that way. I don't know how high up it was. Wonder if I could. Yeah, screw it. We'll go down. Okay. And we'll run this. Out this direction. Oh, wow. It's way below me. Okay. There it is. I see it. Come on. There it is. Okay. Ow. Okay. Well, I was hitting the back, but still worked out. Okay, we got power going to it now. And use this to slowly work our way back. Yeah. 
all the sparks. Go ahead and just... eh. Back up. Aw. Hang on a second. Okay. So... Mylia, thank you very much. Okay, where did where did you write that? Mylia 989 says if there's one message that Jack could see from me, it's this. Jack is the best human being I have ever met. Aw. That is incredibly kind of you. Thank you very much, Mylia. I appreciate it. That is so so nice. No. Oh, well, I'm I'm glad. When when did I meet you, Mylia? Was it an RTX or something, or some con of some nature? I wonder. <laughs> okay. I literally, I literally have tears of joy running down my cheeks. Oh, that's that's incredibly kind of you. Thank you very much. I I genuinely. Like, I wouldn't be here without you guys, so thank you. You are the ones who are... Make, make me be here. <laughs> right, I gotta clear out some space. Don't look at this. Don't look at this. Don't, don't, no one tell Katie about this. Let's have to just clear up. I'm, I'm doing... It's important work. My things. My tools. Okay. All right, let's see how these things work. Okay, so now we want resource well, nope, that's it. Resource well extractor. All right, so where does this go? Does it just go right on? Okay, so you just put them right on these things. Okay, so I'm wondering if that means I can't actually have uh, the base or the concrete down. Let's let's see. Maybe maybe we'll place them first because this was able to place on concrete. This felt very much like it was meant to be on concrete. <laughs> Amelia. Spreading love to Voodoo. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. Okay. So did these just pump out? Is that all it is? It just like literally just spits out hydrogen from this stuff? Alright, so let's... Alright, so if I do... Okay, so once it's up, I can put them down. Alright, that's not too bad. Okay, I need to figure out... So this is pulling out 120 per minute nitrogen gas. So maybe I just do like... Let's go around and we'll tap all of the nodes. Because this one had like... So there's four I've tapped already. So there's three more. Let's, let's maybe make it face... in two... and three. Okay, so now... fracking, kind of. <laughs> 120... From, is it 120 from all of these guys? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, so these are all 120. 120 times 7? Is that how many I have? I got 7. So 120 times 4. It's 480. So 5 would be... Okay, so I can do one 600 pipe going from five of them, and then two of them just do a 300 pipe. So that's that's going to be my best bet. So, it's also up really high, too, so that's nice. 
All right, so here's what we're going to do. Okay. This. Like that. Yeah, this may... We may just have to not put these on concrete. We'll, we'll put this guy on concrete. That didn't connect at all. What is going on here? All right, I'm gonna do this. So I can make it where it's all on the concrete. All right. Okay. Power happened to land in the right spot, too. Okay, so now we need to pump all of these together. So we'll have two of them mix over here. And then this one will kind of head towards these guys. Okay, I'm glad I grabbed some copper sheeting. Like not building on concrete, uh, like I don't like building not on foundations, and yeah, uh, this looks I'm just cutting into it. Ugh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Stop complaining. Let's do this. No one saw that. Actually split that perfect okay okay and you guys will go here there Really, these are the Mark Ones feeding into this guy, right? All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five behind there, spitting out 120, which is 600. So that should fill this pipe up. So now. I'm assuming it's a fluid, right? This counts as a fluid? Maybe? Possibly? Auto save. It's my nemesis. There it goes. This net should be 600, like right on the nose. It's filling up. Look at look at all the gas, you guys. <laughs> okay, so we're getting nitrogen gas. Cool. 
What the heck do we do with the nitrogen gas? Miley, I was just brought into the live community. I already feel so welcome. I think this might be the best day of my life. Oh, Leah. Mylia, please. Is it, is it Mylia? Mylia? I want to make sure we pronounce it correctly. I don't want to call anyone the wrong names. Um, okay. Let's... There we go. Um, okay, so we have... Oh, look at it. You can see it in there. You can see it filling up. A little gassy gas. That's cool. Wow, it's actually netting over its possible high high rate. Neat. The Blind Cobbler. Thank you very much. Good to see you too. Miley Osiris. <laughs> I like it. Uh, Alright, so we've got this. We've got gas. What do we do with gas? Alright, we can package it. Let's just let's do this. Okay. Hydro... What am I pumping? Nitrogen. Oops. Nitrogen. Packaged nitrogen gas. So nitrogen gas inside of an empty fluid tank produces packaged nitrogen gas. Uh, so constructor craft bench. So that's an empty fluid tank. Uh, okay, so... Then what? Seventy fluid tank is just one aluminum ingot makes a fluid tank. That's cake. We can make that happen. All right. So you then what? What do I do? What do I do with this? I, I get my packet package nitrogen gas. Is it? Uh, that's alumina. It's not batteries. Assembly director system. Oh, adaptive control units. I still have those. That's good. I need to make a thousand of these guys. So I need 2,000 adaptive control units and supercomputers. I need to start making supercomputers. I need to make a supercomputer factory. That's what I need to do. Instead of computer factory, supercomputer factory. Okay. Did that save? Yes. Okay. We will work on that. That's going to be a whole thing. Caro says, this Aussie gal needs to go get some lunch, but we'll be back soon. Have fun stream, everybody. Thank you very much, Caro. Take care. Uh, we're getting old, fellas. Jeez, believe, believe me. I, I know that. I know that. Okay. Uh, oh, it was someone trying to post the link. Sorry, uh, Nightbot eats links. I apologize for that. All right, so... Package luminous loot cluster novelist. That's cool. What am I making? So what am I making with nitrogen? What does nitrogen go into? I'm curious. This feels like the recipe is getting more. Heat sinks? No. Those are just alclad aluminum and that. Cooling. Oh, there we go. Okay, cooling systems. All right, all right. So that's a thing. And fuse modular frames. Okay. Can be used in a variety of ways such as metal energy cooling and nitric acid production on message. Massage to ABB. It can be extracted from underground gas wells. All right, so this is something I can make. So nitrogen gas... Does this go into a blender? If I package nitrogen gas, I'm wondering, should I do just a train line? Like, should I... Should I just do my... Like, should I do a line where nitrogen gas just feeds into a train facility? Is this, or should I package it from here and move it? Oh, look at it. It's getting full. Oh, it is full. That's cool. Okay. Um, while I'm here, Up. OK, 
Okay. I do. Can you see directly that? Okay, cool. All right, good, good. All right, so another one of you. And we are going to say one of these guys, like here. guy will run to there. Okay. So it's going to tap into all of the gas in these guys. This one will not be nearly as much. So this will only be 240 coming out of here. That one's 600. So that's okay. Okay. Uh... All right, package it from there is my vote. It says time, timeless lies. All right, I wonder, could you put, I wonder like for the recipes, like for these recipes here, instead of using packaged or like gas, if I could use packaged nitrogen gas. So four into one, like if I took, like could I use this instead or do you have to unpackage it? So that's packaged nitrogen gas. So if I say empty fluid tank, so in a packager, it splits it. So it looks like maybe I package it and then I have to run through another packager to spit out liquid again. And then I recollect my, my fluid tanks. Okay, that's not the worst. I guess we could do that. Okay, so what, what do we need for, a, uh, we need those things. Okay, we need to get a line. Uh, totally off topic, but today a well-known Ruby fan artist just got hired a Lego. Oh, that's awesome. Enabled seal. I'm all about Lego. So, okay. All right, all right, all right. We're, we're stalling. We're stalling here. So I need to get either aluminum. How far away are we? from our truck because I have nut. So here is my copper facility and I have a bunch of aluminum going over there. So I have aluminum feeding into here. But I could also get aluminum. So like an, honestly, like another train line over here somewhere. Or I could just pa I could just put the aluminum packager over there. I need to really work on my aluminum factory because my aluminum factory is small. It is very very small. So maybe that is something I should work on. Like I should literally fit, like max out an aluminum factory before. I dive too deep into this. Because, like, right now, my aluminum factory is a tiny... That's it right there. Like, that is tiny. Come on. So, like, that is my aluminum factory in total. And... Even that, that's actually, that's not all aluminum factory. It's just the stuff in the back. Just the refineries are the aluminum factory. In the, or, and the front ones are making something. I forget what. Anyway. It's very, very small. As Jack overlooks his empire. Uh, honestly, this is tiny compared to what some people make of this stuff. So I kind of, like, you see the water tracks aren't, they're not showing up. I kind of want to mess with aluminum. I kind of want to move it onto the other side of here because it's right there for no reason at all. Like, genuinely, there's nothing there that it's extracting. 
that it needs. I think I might move it over here and clear up some of this space because there's oil over there that I could use. Yeah, let's let's play with aluminum, you guys. We're doing number three on the list. What time is it now? 1023. All right, we got time. All right, we're going over here. We're going we're gonna to work an aluminum factory. Okay. My trains. So there's my Caterium there. So I may actually turn... I might m make a station here that picks up this Caterium and then uh, gets the fluid stuff, gets the the, the uh, nitrogen from up here. Like maybe feed it down and then pump it into this, pump it into a train station here. That might be the best bet. I actually might also take out this hitch and make this a straight line until it connects to like here. And there's a straight line that way. Anyway, because like right now it's kind of like hitch and then hitch for no real reason. Okay. All right, let's, let's play with aluminum. Let's play with aluminum. I've been mean I've been meaning to do this for a while, but I've been thinking about doing it. And it's just now now is now, there's no better time than now. Alright. Alright, let's get over here and work on aluminum. Okay. This is not aluminum. This is oil. This is producing... Oh, this is producing heavy oil residue. What was I making over here? Oh, this is my... This is making my uh, petroleum coke. Which I use to make my super copper. Okay. So that's... But yeah, like all of this doesn't need oil at all. It's just here. I just built it here because I could. So, all I really need is water and bauxite. Okay. How much bauxite am I pulling in per minute? Over 120. I get my bauxite from up there. Let's find out how much we're getting per minute. Because that, that, honestly, of all things, that's the one important one. Like figuring out how much my node is. Did I? Did I actually finish this thing? Oh, Do I have the capability? I need two rotors. Hang on, hang on. I think I could... Did I finish that? Does it go all the way up? <laughs> I don't think it does. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. What? You know what? I would say I could just look at the map and figure out how much I'm getting, but I genuinely don't know. Okay. Jack, you got a hitch in your giddy up? I do. I do indeed. The Golden Calf. Thanks for being a positive force in this world. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. And speaking of the Golden Calf, here's the Golden Cat. It's Cooper. He decided he's been napping too long. He wants some attention now. So. You all right, buddy? Where is this connect to? It's... Come on, auto save. Why are you doing me wrong? All right, so it's like one off the wall.
we'll put you like right here. And then like that. That works. So it lands on top here. Alright, let's go see how much bauxite we're getting out of this thing. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is radiated over here. So I'm not getting full. 240 a minute is what I'm getting. 240 bauxite a minute. That's it. Let's, let's, while we're here, let's bump that up. So we got our Mark Threes. All right, 600 a minute. I need aluminum sheets to get full 600 out of this. Okay. Of course, my aluminum sheets are way down there. All right, y'all ready? Ah, stupid. All right. We also need rotors, too. Right into the train. Here we go. And... Pink. All right, let's get our tier five things. Tier five stuff. Man, lots of old school Rooster Teeth fans on tonight. I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Also, the gory details. Thank you for those bits. I appreciate you. See Jack's animated inner dragon to a spit take. Let's go in here and grab some aluminum. And we'll go. Imports. Export, so I think. Lots of copper. Oh, the aluminum is what comes in. Oops. Okay. So that isn't exporting yet. I think the plan was for it, too. I just don't have it lined up just yet. Okay. So maybe... While I'm here... Because we got nothing else to do, right? Nope. Looks like about roughly right. Oh, did I get that in one shot? Are you kidding me? What are the odds of that? Oh, I am so proud of myself right now. <laughs> that I, I did that. Okay. Where is... That's the first one to feed in. This is good. Okay. Now let's just start spitting out. Yeah, it's a little little crooked, not exactly perfect, but that's okay. We'll take it. All right, so we got ooh, we got uh, Alclad sheeting now pumping from here into the train station. So if we want, we can go pick up that stuff. Um, and use it. Okay. All right. Udemus. Plenty of all cloud sheeting. Okay. Now let's go back. Oh, my train's in the way of the the drop off. Okay. Let's get out of here. Oh, you know what? Ooh, 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 ooh. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh. I don't want you. Who are you? This is. 
Oh, you're just dropping off. Okay, so you're not getting any from anything. No one's getting anything from copper exports right now. That's fine. I can have a train pick up from copper exports and grab the aluminum or owl clad sheeting, whatever we want to call it. Um, hey, Jack. I've been a long time fan for a while. A while ago, like six, seven years ago, I was shopping at Value Village discount store, and I found your Achieve shirt, which made me so happy as a child. I begged my mom to buy it for me. I still have it. It's worn out. I still have it because of your happiness. Because of the happiness I get from looking at it. Thanks for being a big inspiration in my life. Aw. Uh, Siren Rogue, thank you very much for that, and thank you more to, more to, uh, more to Chant for spreading the love. I really do appreciate that. Um, if you want an organizer's nightmare, watch Let's Game in Outside Strike. Oh, Mylia, believe me, I've, I've watched it before. Uh, Josh is insane. I don't know how that dude does that stuff. Very, very cool, though. Uh, thank you for the recommendation. I'm going to beat this train. I'm going to beat the train. Okay. Now we're going to go back up, and we got to speed up the export process. Come on. Calm down. Calm down. Yeah. Stop. Yep. All right. Oh, yeah, the rotors. Okay. Okay. Uh, Jack, we're talking about the TTT where Gavin died like eight times in one round, causing you to do a spit take. <laughs> oh, yeah. I re God, I remember that. That was a great episode. That was a lot of fun. All right. I need two rotors. How do I make rotors? Bet I need screws. Yeah, I do. Alright, so I need 50 screws. Which I can't make exactly 50. Stupid. And there we go. Rotor, too. And I have no room for it, so let me pull something out. How about... Oh, yeah, there we go. Alright, and then two rotors. And then we'll take our two screws and toss them. Now... Think. There we go. And is this? Does that actually have juice? I don't think it's actually powered. I, think I managed to cut power to it. Oh no! There it is. It's powered. Okay. Cool. All right. This will make this a little bit quicker. And there we go. That's the name of the YouTuber, Let's Game It Out. Yeah, yeah. Who is Josh? Yeah, yeah, Josh is... Let's Game It Out is a great series. That dude put so much work into those series. Absolutely go watch his stuff. Is this monitor base game, says Diesel Donkey Gaming. This is the base vanilla version of the game. I have not modified it at all. It's a thousand percent the normal base game. All right, so we've got Mark V going out of here. These conveyor belts now are spitting out Mark V. Which is pretty rad. If I'm not mistaken, I think... I'll do the whole thing. I think that's not going to get it all in one shot. What was that big boom? Come on. Bad timing, autosave. Fix that. So now we got Mark 5. Should be Mark 5 all the way down the waterfall. All right. Yeah. Oh. There's one. There it is. <laughs> Look at that little guy. Let's fix this. Yep. 
Okay. And there's that. I'm going to go all the way up the top. Make it Mark V. In my Mark V, I will survive. Yeah, yeah. Woo! In my Mark V, in my Mark V, I will survive. All right, it is the third one. Think and think. There we go. This is bauxite. So we are getting a whole lot of bauxite going on. All right, so roughly 600 per min. Um, so the question is, do we build it over here where we have our old aluminum stuff? Like this is feeding up into it. Or do we build us the whole new facility? I think maybe... Because I need bauxite, which I get here. I need silica, uh, which I'm getting from another location, a quartz location. I'm getting trained in. And I need coal, uh, which I'm also getting from right here. Oh, crap. I didn't see how much coal I needed. As a white man once said, I only speak two languages, English and bad English. Corbin Dallas... Multipass. All right. Um, okay, so. Kind of wish I had also made. You know what? Let's go. While I'm here, while I'm while I'm doing it, let's just go ahead and make coal also a here a tier five Please. can't just scare the crap out of me all right that is feeding that truck over there is pulling in the caterium that's fine Shouldn't take too long. So, this we can actually fix. Okay. Because we don't use this anymore, not station anymore. This. Oh, come on. <sighs> All right. We're going to do this. It's only dumb if it doesn't work. <laughs> I swear to God, I have autosave going every like two seconds. All right. That sounds awesome. Boswin McBostock. All right, time for me to head out. Thanks for the good show and nice meeting you, Jack. Looking forward to tuning in again next week. Thank you very much, Boswin. You have yourself a good night. Don't forget, you can check out my archive, too, at youtube.com slash Jack It's where I put all my archives up there. Uh, beautiful 1440p. If you want to watch them, you're more than welcome to. So thank you very much for hanging out. I appreciate you. And welcome to the Patillion. Now the coal for this is way far back. But 
That's okay. Oh. That's in the crate. Oh. <laughs> it's me torching the uh, gold mark fours. Okay. That and a bag of some chips. There we go. Alright, we are at max capacity with that. Ooh, 280 a minute. Oh, oh no. I'll get 300 per minute of coal out of this guy? Okay. All right, well, we're getting 300 a minute. Why did I have it lower down? I didn't, I didn't have it at max. That's strange. I think there was a bit inside that Mark V. Wait, wait. English thing. Okay. Hello, Ellie. All right, so we're getting 300 coal out of here. We can always find more coal and pump it, but at least we're getting 300. And this is a max speed. Wait, I can just you know, real fast now. Okay, so we're getting 300 coal a minute, 600 bauxite a minute. All right, let me look at my, and then this, oh, okay, this is, this should, that's not right. We, uh, two, Hey, yep. Hey, yep, yep. Ha ha. The. Yep. All right, now we go here, and we say, "Hey, there it is." And there we go. Okay. All right, we got all the bauxite out of this guy, so there shouldn't be any box. I should only be Caterium. Let me look at my spreadsheet. This is waterfall exports. Caterium coal. Boxite. That is correct. Good, good, good. So this, so Reamer, Boxite now goes in slot three, car three. There we go. All right, so Silicon and Boxite are both going to the imports over there. That's okay. We can sort that out. Not a big problem. All right. So over here, that's all coal. That's all Boxite. All right. I wonder if I should split these so they load quicker. I know it'll, I mean, it really doesn't matter. It's splitting is doing 300 and 300, but at least it's two belts, so it'll do 600. I guess it really didn't matter. Well, no, it's going, okay. I think that, I think that might be faster. I'm not, not 100% sure, but that's okay. Whatevs. All right, we've got 600 aluminum a minute. Now feeding our way. Six, or six, excuse me, 600 bauxite, theoretically, 600 bauxite a minute coming over here. And so now, let's just, let's just build a whole new area, you guys. All right, I need motors. I'm going to need lots of motors. So bauxite water. Uh, this takes in 120 a minute, so that's five, right? Five times 120 is 600. So I need five refineries. 
for the initial run. This is just taking in uh, this. So this is going to produce 600 alumina a minute, right? 600 alumina solution a minute, which I then take 240. It was a times uh, it's a little less than that. So we do three of these. We'll, we'll hit capacity. We can do three and underclock it. So I need three more refineries. All right, and that will then spit out. If I'm doing 200. What happens if I do? Looks like uh, 200, so it's going to be 300, I bet. 300, if I do 300 per minute, yeah, so. 300 per minute gives me 300, so I'm going to get um, 300, so I'm going to get 900 aluminum scrap per minute. 900 aluminum scrap per minute, which this guy will take 225. What's 900 divided by 225? Four. Perfect. Okay. So four foundries I will need. Four foundries. And then silica I'm gonna have to figure out somewhere. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need excess silica. What do I need coal for? What is the coal coming for? Feeding to these guys. Okay, so the alumina needs coal. So I'm doing. That's 100 per minute. So I need 300 coal per minute. That's exactly what I'm getting from up there, isn't it? Right. God, I wonder if I should just make. I don't know if I can extract water from here. I think that might be too shallow. In the sh shallow. Because I could be... Oh God, I mean, I'm literally at the point where I could just be feeding straight from there into my facility and not train anything. Caro! Gifted in five subs! Thank you, Caro! I appreciate you. Also, Voodoo gifted a sub to Mylia. Thank you very much. That's incredibly kind of you. No. Oh, wow. Oh, they're so nice. I love you guys. Makes me so happy. Mordechan, please don't sub me, please. I'd waste it as much as I love the community. I don't have the time to be here. Totally understand. Totally understand that. Totally understand that. Voodoo throwing out gift subs as well. My gosh, thank you so much, you guys. I appreciate y'all. Caro, aw, that's so kind of you. Thank you very much, y'all. Seriously, that's that really means a lot to me. I really do appreciate it. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're killing this. We're, 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 this is now going to become a new aluminum facility. We're gonna we're gonna tear out this old old base, this old train, this old car station. We're getting rid of all this, so this is going away, or at least the coal and the the bauxite, because we somehow managed to fall right into the perfect amount, which is fantastic. So tearing out all this. This is going to be our aluminum facility over here. All right, so we're knocking this stuff out. We're going to take all this down. This is going to become where our aluminum goes. So, first of all, I'm a realist. All right, so let me... First, we're going to tear out all this stuff. Yeah. Okay. All, all of you. Tears out all of me. Ooh, oh, okay. That, that power we actually do need. Right. Currently, or right now we need it. We, we will move that stuff around. Ooh. 
exploding barrel nuts. Interest Ooh. Interesting. Alright. So this is good. This is something I've been meaning to do for a bit. So this actually works out pretty well. Alright, let's rework this power line here. Because it's literally just... Uh, going from here to... Wires too long. Perfect. Okay. Put you here. And then... Knock those out. You're still powered. That's good. We pull power out over here. I have no juice. Okay. Alright. How are we looking for materials? What all do we get? Okay. Not too bad. Okay. okay. Not enough room. All right. Ooh. My nobelisks. My nobelisks. Okay, let's tear out some of this stuff. Oh, it was literally the things I was destroying, so. I think and... Oh, there we go. All right. So let's build up an area. So we're getting our coal and our bauxite over here. So, about yay high. And I have no idea how big this needs to be, how, how large this area needs to be, but I'm going to guesstimate. Okay, I'm also going to need to pick up some stuff. <sighs> Refineries. So, I can make two of these right now. So, this is where bauxite and water will come in. So, I need water. How much water did I need? You know what? I do. You know what? I want to raise this up. I want there to be. I want there to be like a floor. Where. Uh, stuff comes in underneath it and it's like kind of piped in. Yeah, like that. I'm going to be able to get my... Okay. I guess I could run my water pipe up high. And let the line for bauxite go low. So I could do something like... Hypothetical. 96,000 dollars? Holla! Oop. And so, like, that would do that. Yeah, snap to that. That's what I want. I want you to snap to absolutely nothing. And so... Or something like that. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. This works. Doesn't need to be Mark V. Okay. And that can actually walk underneath it. Sweet. Okay. Cool. All right. So this, we're doing alumina solution. Sloppy alumina. So this gets 12 alumina, that gets 10, 
this produces silica though and we need silica further down the line and it produces more water so that's good okay so this is taking in water oh it's not actually spitting out water though so 180 water per minute times five it's 900 water so i need a 600 line and a 300 line Okay, okay, all right, all right, we're kind of getting it going here. Um, I'm going to go back to the base and pick up the stuff I need for all of these materials. All right, this is going to be uh, something that we will not finish tonight, probably. <laughs> I do have to work tomorrow. Uh, but we will certainly get it going. Well, at least maybe get some layout happening here. This we should. Yeah, there's gonna be some math here. I might have to figure out in my brain hole. Get out of my brain hole, guy! Oh my god, I love bubblegum ice cream. All right, uh, modular frames. These over here. Motors. Got a big box of motors over here somewhere. Is this it? There it is. All right, 50. There's 100 for you. Run a little bit low on rotors. Uh, a little bit of ingot can go away. Let me grab some more rotors just to be safe. Okay. Actually, I don't need. Oh, whatever. Screw it. Okay. Um. Concrete rotor frame. How much? That can go away. That can go away. That's a lot of tier five. A lot of tier four as well. I realize I'm right next to my dump in here. All right. I need a little bit more of that. Oh yeah. I need. What I, say, I need 900 water, and I get how much in a... Well, I need 900 water to start. Because I produce water as well, right? When I, when I make stuff? Hang on. Okay, so refinery. Okay, so if I'm making a luminous solution that takes in water, but when I get alumina scrap, I produce water. I'm producing 120 a minute. So this, I'm going to shrink down to 300 a minute to take in this. So I'm producing 100 a minute in, uh, in three of these, right? Because I'm making 600 alumina solution per minute, I think. Is that right? Ugh. So I think it's one to one, isn't it? Why not go to sleep listening to Jack? Oh, <laughs> that's sweet. I re refuse to give in to the temptation of sleep. So I'm producing 100 water there. And I need... 180 times 5. So I'm producing 300, so I need 600. Basically, I need 600 water coming in total. Let's, let's do this. All right. All right. Aluminum factory need 600 water incoming. Is it, uh, do so. So there we go. 600 water incoming. You know, let's, let's just do this. Okay, we have... Incoming. We've got... The 600 bauxite... 300 coal. And then need 600 water incoming. Okay. 
So I need to make 600 water, which is water extractor. So that is 120 per minute. So 635 of these guys. Do I have enough stuff for them all? I do. Good, good. Okay. All right. Yeah, five of those will pump 600 water down one pipe. So that's good. Okay, okay. All right, I think we're on to something here. Let's do this. Our powers combined. And all of that nonsense. Oh, he a bad guy. Oh, yeah, this whole line can go, basically. All right. So here we are. Okay. So I'm doing five of these guys. Four and five, right? And these are all set to... Illumina Solution. And five. So 180. So they're getting 120 in of bauxite. But then 180 of water. Which is 900. So basically, I need to send a 600 pipe from one end and a 300 pipe from the other to feed all that water into these guys. Because basically, 180 or 600 will go 180, 360, math, and then the other end will spit out 300 and then pull 120 and feed in here. So which, theoretically, if I have 300 water pumping in this way and 600 pumping in this way, it will fill all of these. That being said, I'm getting 300 from the return of all this stuff eventually, once it all feeds in, so I can literally feed that pipe into here. Okay. Okay. We're doing it. We are doing it. We're doing it right. Okay. Let's... You come this way. I feel like I feel like I've mathed that out, right? Does, does that seem right, you guys? Okay. So how much this takes in 120 bauxite per minute, which is mark two belts. Okay, so let's do split tour. This is annoying. Go, you, you go away. Okay, split tours. They're coming from this direction. Auto save. Why not? Is that eating? Oh, that's beautiful. Now, if I do this. Oh, gorgeous. You're gorgeous. You know that? Let's just go ahead and do these first. Okay. All right. Beautifulness. Okay, so now... Run that 
to... here. Is that the right height? What a shot. A little too high. One too high. Whatever. That's where I need you to be. Okay. Where is the actual... Okay. And go ahead and oop, I just managed to break the wrong thing. Oh, this does actually need for the criteria aiming is the truck, so yeah, actually I do need to uh keep some coal going that way. I do oh you know what I can just do this I can use height to my advantage like so okay This will go here. There we go. Alright, so now that's going that away. And then I can say Where is that? Post here. to split you actually at some point so let's do this alright let fit there have my coal feed. Was it right here before? Yeah, okay. That's gross for now. I will try to fix it later. No promises, though. Alright, we got coal coming this way as well, so this will eventually be part of it as well. So, now we just gotta get some water. I need five water extractors. Those are pretty, pretty big. Yeah, pretty, pretty big. And they're not even deep enough right here. Perfect. Oh, okay. That's good. Come on. Auto save. There we go. Alright, well, looks like I can get a couple right here. Maybe. We'll get more than a couple, as a matter of fact. That. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can... They'll work out here. Perfect. Okay, that's even better. We'll just do it out there. We'll make it pretty out here. And then run a line back over this way. Okay, so what do you have in you? Not a lot. 
That was a bit harsh. <laughs> I realized that. That was a bit rough. <laughs> you, what do you have? Nothing. Gone. Toast. I apologize. That was a bit much. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead. And get some water extractors out here. I need six of them feeding that direction. So I can run a pipe this way. All right, so here we go. Water extractor. That looks pretty good. One, two, three, four, and five. Perfecto. So now, we just need to run a tier two pipe over there. So, let's go ahead and just make it dead center. Why not? You know, we can just have it continue on the end here, so. And these will all feed in. I'm out of copper sheets, really? <sighs> That's frustrating. I guess I didn't think I would be producing so much. Okay. And the power is on the right side of these guys. Let's go get some copper sheets. Super annoying. Not too much water, not enough dirt. Yes. Oh, uh, there we go. Never have enough dirt. Jack, have you played Gotham Knights? And if so, what is your opinion? I have not played Gotham Knights, actually. I was looking forward to it, and then uh, they got, did they get rid of co-op? Is that what it was? There was some some reason I was like, oh, they kind of like, they sort of made it a little less good. Or they got rid of like online co-op or something. Because I was looking forward to it. I remember that being a thing. I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. And then, uh, yeah. And they, they changed some stuff up. If I remember, I, I could be remembering it. But I'm pretty sure that was the case. Okay. A lot of copper sheet now. So much sheet. Crossplay. No, it wasn't crossplay. Crossplay is not as big of a thing for me. Like I, I will I honestly typically don't play crossplay anyway. It's system only co-op. Okay. Yeah, there you go. But even that, no no no. I, I could have sworn there was something else to it. Is it online co-op or is it like single screen co-op? It still has online co-op. Maybe it was maybe I thought it was gonna be four player or something. And they just they made it two. I think maybe that's what it was. Because there's they're like pitching four four characters in the game. Ooh, fancy spear. Um, so maybe that's what it was. I remember there was a reason. I was like, oh, that's kind of kind of a bummer. All right. Let's 
get. Something. I don't know. Let's get let's get a term. Let's get in something. Don't Oh, come on, big boy. Can you please move? Can you please move. No, no, that way. No, you're... Where are you going? Okay, that works. That works. That actually is fine. I'll take it. Okay. Let's feed some agua. Oop. There we go. And to you. No, we don't want that. We want it to go further back. There we go. Perfect. And I think I don't I don't know that I'll need to uh, use a pump. I think there's enough head lift. Here. Oh crap, I've got I need to go up. Need to raise this up just a little bit more. I wonder if I can just do it like which is one, right? Yeah. So, there we go. So this, yeah, it's filling with water. Slowly, it's filling though. Uh, I can add a valve. Oh wait, what is happening here? It's crooked somewhere. Oh, it's crooked here. Oh, come on now. Can't be having that. No. There we go. That did it. Okay, so now we'll add a valve here. I don't know if I need it, but I feel like valves make me happy. <laughs> Like, valves stop the flow from going that way. Alright, so now we have 600 water going in. And we have 120 bauxite. So we don't have enough water yet, but we do have enough bauxite. So now let's... Where's my power for these guys? Looks like it's in the back. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we'll do we'll split. Right, yeah, okay. And how far is it? It's like a And there we 
go. And now, power we can grab. How about you? So now, with that, these guys should kick off. So they're going to start loading up. Now we're going to be producing a lot of alumina solution. I almost wonder. If I turn them off, they don't fill. That's kind of lame. I kind of want these things to fill up. Can't go past two with valves. We all know valves don't go to three. <laughs> nice. Nice. That's a... That's a joke. <laughs> that's, that's a video game joke. Uh, Blood Scorpion 12 and You Can't Stop Zero. Thank you very much. Uh, Blood Scorpion's a brand new Prime Warden and You Can't Stop Zero. has been around for two months by the power of the Beard Beard Bond. Appreciate y'all. Okay, so now we're getting a bunch of alumina solution in the silica. So we're getting 120 solution times five. So that is 600 solutions. That's enough for one pipe. That's good. So we don't have to worry about multiple pipes. So let's do this. Uh, okay. Same sort of deal. Is that enough room? Is this enough room? Oh, that's, that's pretty tight. Yeah, that's too close. Okay. Alright. Oh. Okay, let's back it up. Back it up. Back it in. Let me begin. Okay, so that should be plenty. I am right on this line. I've fallen off. There we go. So. So this is just spitting out. Ah. And all right, there we go. Picking up multiple fixed personnel in the area. Proceed with harvest before it's too late. No, you proceed with harvest. Okay, so now we're getting our alumina fluid. So this is alumina fluid spitting out 600 alumina solution and 250 silica a minute. So now we will say... Let's merge all of this crap and feed it. Yeah, we're not that way. Okay. Auto save. And then this one will poke out that way. Okay. One, am I getting 120 a minute? Whoa. So 120 a minute is tier two? Yeah, tier two. Okay. There we go. So that's spitting out 600 total. Harvest. Uh, of silica and 
uh, the stuff. Whoever said math? You are so lucky that you that was a good idea for video games. Artifact. Okay. All right. So. Comply. All right. That is super annoying. Where are you? Is it this thing? Is it you? Not a Mercer Sphere. Your contract legally compels you to harvest this artifact. Can I find it with these stupid things. Probably up like super high or something. On top of here or something. I don't know. Annoying. Okay. All right. Uh, now we're going to go to another refinery. We're going to. Let's move it back a little bit. Put on that line. Probably too much room, but okay. So now this is going to take our alumina solution and make it into alumina scrap. How much that get? 20. Wait, 20 alternate. What is this? Aluminum solution petroleum coke gets 300 aluminum scrap per minute. That's that's too much. That's too much. <laughs> let's let's just stick with this. All right, 240 a minute a solution and 120 a minute of coal. And I'm doing th three of these. That's right. I was reducing these down to 300 a minute. So I get 200 per minute. So I'm doing three of these guys. That's the goal. Copy this. Paste. Paste. Right? So that's giving me 600 alumina solution per minute. And I take in 300 coal per minute. So the coal, I need to somehow get that over here. That's not not the worst. I could have could have done worse with it. Um, let's say... You okay? So if I wanted to come right here. So it's right there, and you go one, two over. What is this? That is a Mark Five belt. It's not high enough. Yeah, screw it. It's it's close enough. It's good enough for government work, right? Okay, so I want it to be right there. Actually, I want you to go right down that line. No, that's good. We'll go next to it, so I don't have to deal with all of that doohickey. And we're going to say splitter. Oh, I need to get... Oh, God, I should get the solution over first, huh? You know what? Let's... Let's pump this down the same way. Yeah, okay. And actually, because of that... Those are all... Oh, that's silica. So silica's... I need that later anyway. So coal... Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. We'll do this, we'll do this. Really? Again, auto save? Oh, come on. Okay. Okay, and then. Get rid of those two. Paste. Paste. Okay. So, we will. Now. Go over here. Year on this little line of mine, I'm going to let it. Oh, come on, big boy, move. That. Do 
Do I have enough room? I probably should have put mergers in first, huh? Or splitters in first. E. That's a bit rough. That's a bit tight. Let's let's move these back. Alright, these are taking in how much coal? 100 coal per minute, so tier 2 belts. Missing reinforced iron plate, you're getting a tier 3. go. Coal's feeding in now. Beautiful. Now we can add this guy in like here-ish. So these are now pumping in 200 per minute of aluminum solution and 100 coal per minute. It's bidding out 300 aluminum scrap and 100 water per minute. So the water needs to return back over here. Okay. So let's go ahead and say these are getting 300 a minute out. So I'm getting 900 a minute. Hey, Master Fisherman, thank you very much. Wizard Police, that's a great username. Brand new Warden, thank you very much, appreciate you. All right. So if I do 300 out of each of those, I'm just gonna leave them individually for now because I'm probably gonna do one going into all clad sheeting, or maybe not. One might be going to a train. <laughs> Is like, or maybe maybe I'll bring the copper here instead of sending the copper there. I'll send I'll bring the copper here, and I can make my all clad sheeting. Not a bad idea. I wish that train station was closer. Uh, okay, we can do that. One will make shells, and then one maybe will make nitrogen or containers. So I get three hundred for each of those. Okay, cool. That's fine. Uh, that being said. In the meantime, I'm just going to sink them for now. No, I can just do this. Reinforced iron plates. What do I need? Screws. 15, uh, 120, plus 60, 180. 180 screws. Here we go. And auto saves coming too. I need 15 reinforced iron plates. Why did I not just grab a stack of them? Of all things, I could have just grabbed a stack of them. That would have been fine. That would have been fine, Cooper. What are you upset about? What are you looking at? You looking at a ghost? All right, Mylea, you take care. Get some rest. Thank you so much for popping in. We appreciate you. We're glad you're here. And I'll see you next time. I, I stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So if you want to pop in next week, we'd love to have you. All right. Beautiful. Just making my reinforced iron plates. Almost there. <coughs> Give me. All right, we might actually get this up and running. Okay. 
and we say special. Awesome sink. All right. And of course, I realize now I, I won't have enough. <laughs> like, I'm going to be spitting out 900, and I can only, my, my fastest, uh, fastest belt can only go up to 780, I think. Is that what it is? Yeah. So I need to make another one. All right, well, we'll do one for now and figure out the rest. All right, water coming out. Water, water, dirt. All right, so let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. All right, give it a little bit of room. And then we say you. There. All right. Oh man, is that too close? I think it might be. Ooh. It is not as ugly though. That is super ugly. Let's move this back. All right, buddy. Why? Why? Why are you harassing me? Why? Why are you doing? Why are you, are you doing to harass me here? Why are you doing me like that? As the song says, don't do me like that. So this is only, actually it's only spitting out 300, so I can just do 300. I can do a, a normal smartphone pipeline. And then, we'll run you, oop, I go up with it. I rushed it because the creature was in the way. And then I screwed it up. Right, right to there. So we go up. That slightly turned it is slightly askew. Stupid. There we go. Ooh, okay, it's actually. That's straight. Okay, this one is basically from the line over. Okay. Oh, it is beautiful. Gorgeous. There it is. All right. And then we'll also we'll put a valve in here so water doesn't flow back into it. Really no need to. All right. So now that's 300 water pumping into the original 600. So that should spit out a total of 900 water, which is what those five need to get up to full capacity. So kick ace. And now. Well, I'm going to merge them, even though. I don't. Uh, Nope, not where I wanted it. Which way is this going? Okay, that's correct. So even though this, this won't work, this won't make sense, but for now, just to prove a point, go. That's all feeding into there. Kick 
close enough and then you will match my other ones here by going to there and you go there and this long one can go away there we go all right, I'm not getting any sol any Illumina solution yet. Oh, that's because I'm not feeding any in yet. All right, so this needs to be 600. There we go. And then we'll also put in a valve right there to prevent it from backflowing. So this should all be going in, making Illumina solution which is then producing scrap. So I think we did it. Oh, yeah. Good. All right. That's just making scrap to go in there for now, which is fine. Beautiful. All right. These are going. And then this sort of full of water. So this should be it's running at 10% capacity right now, but others other ones as they fill up, this should start bumping up. This is see how it's constantly going up? This should be running at like exactly perfect capacity. Oh that doesn't exactly line up, but whatever, I don't care. Okay. Hey buddy. Can I help you with something? You just you checking out what I'm doing to your planets? <laughs> Oops. I'm sure people who play slash watch this game know what's going on, but slime running at perfect capacity. What? Uh, man. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Ouija. Appreciate you. Hey, Jack, I think you're great. Keep killing me out there. I appreciate you. That's very kind of you. Very nice of you to say that. But, uh, what time is it? Almost midnight. All right. So, real quick, let's take a look at what we want to do with my various aluminum. So we want to do uh, alclad casing, or alclad sheets, uh, which is uh, bringing copper over to me. So that is two crafts into another part. Man, the a freaking, all right, I'm, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna go, I, I hate it. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna get just couple stacks of reinforced iron plates just because it's driving me absolute bonkers. I'm sure it's also driving you bonkers. Or maybe I'm just saying that to make me feel better that I have such an issue with it. Oosh. Let's get over here. Auto save and freeze. Everybody clap your hands. Clap, 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 To the left. Take it back now, y'all. One hop this time. All right, there we go. Let's just do two stacks. Two stacks of these monkeys. Uh, I got plenty of those. That. What were the foundries for? Because I have the. Uh... Foundries are to make. Was that the all clad sheeting? I'm totally spacing out onto what the foundry was going to be used for.
Uh, I finally completed the MAM task to give inventory upgrades so I could always keep a little bit of everything on me. You, you, you will zap a waff, you will 100% run out. <laughs> it's, that is the case. You're always going to run out. Alright, why? Okay, what am, what am I not spitting out of capacity here? 79%, I think it's the, it's probably the water as this, like, 78%. So as, as the water starts filling up, I'm going to be producing more. So it's just going to take a little bit of time. Oh, the silica. Oh, crap, I forgot to sink the silica for now. Drive from Rockwell. What is silica? I needed silica for something. Oh, to produce aluminum ingots. I forgot. I gotta make aluminum ingots. I'm a dumb dumb. Doesn't stop here. Doesn't stop here. What's wrong with you, Jack? I gotta. I gotta go another step. I gotta go to uh, the foundries. Are what make the ingots. Yeah, dumb dumb. All right. Can't believe I forgot that. Okay. So that's that's good. Two, three. Okay. Now then, aluminium ingots. These take 90 scrap per minute. I'm producing 600. How did I math that out right? Okay. All right, 600 divided by 90 is six and the devil. All right, so let's make seven of these guys. All right, one, two, three, four. You just, that's fine. Four and we need three more. Yep. 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 Okay. I can't believe I, I totally spaced on that. I don't know how I mismathed it. Okay. One, two, and three. Okay, well, so now then, we've got no power, obviously. Mm, okay. All right, it takes 75 per minute of silica. Um, okay, I'm producing 600, so I need... 600 of these can do... Should I just do... Oh, no, let's not do that. Okay, what is... 600 divided by 7. 85. Come on. So I do, what if I do 50 per minute? What does that give me, 75? All right, that works. So 75, that'd be two would make 150. So I'd need eight total. So do I, do I just overclock? Let's just overclock it. Let's just overclock one of them. Okay, let's just, we want to get all right. All right. You take in this. So I need 10%. So 110%. Give it 110%. 111%. <laughs> I 
can't do that. That's not a good number. All right. What what's a good math? Okay. What what's a, what's a good way to divide these things? So we've got 600 coming in. If I want to do four machines, 600 would be 150 in. 150, 90, 90. No, okay. Uh, so it'd be 90 divided by 150. So 160 percent. Nope. <laughs> Math that wrong. I'm doing 100 per minute. There we go. All right. There it is. There it is. <laughs> that works. <laughs> just, just figured it out. Okay, 150 per minute. I'm getting 600 out of each of these guys. So, if I do four of them. Okay, cool. It took it from my inventory. That's cool. Okay. All right. These are all taken in 150 per minute. So I can basically, each of these uh, splitters will feed two of these machines. These are mergers, actually. So if I could turn back time, if I could find a way. So here's what we're going to do. These guys will live up here. So this is going to take in silica. This is taking in 125 silica a minute. That's frustrating. That's a tier three now. All right. So let, let's get these done first. So splinter. And silica, which way did I, I think I had silica feeding the other way. So let's go this way with it. Okay. And... Cool, and one last one, and we'll have it coming from that way. That is just feeding in the middle of nothing. Perfect. That being said, 125 times 4 is 500. Yeah. So 500. So I can I can fit that on one belt. That's good, at least. Okay. And now then... Splitting. Now for my next magic trick. So this is taking in 150 a minute. So that is Mark Four belt. Three belt. Okay. Come on, to save. Thank you. this pretty Eh. 
know what? That's close enough. I'm not gonna cry about it too much. All right, so that's 150 and 150 going into these guys. Perfect. Now then, we'll do it again. Second verse, same as the first. This time. So. Perfect. Much nicer looking. Oh, wait, what? Do I need six? <sighs> I'm getting... I'm getting 200 out of these, aren't I? No, I'm getting 300. So I need six of these refineries. Three hundred each, splitting up one fifty, one fifty. So I need two more. I was very confused. Okay, well, I'm gonna play this game again. Oh. you now too, don't I? Actually, you can just split out. That's fine. Yeah, you can just join in there and go this way. That's fine. That worked for me. Now then, this... You go to there. And now you... Come on, just join me over here. I don't know why I'm not getting a line there. That's weird. Okay. Okay, now. Alright, it's one step over and two steps back. We come together to the opposite to track. Ain't no fiction. Natural. Why did I miss that? Come on now. Gonna do it, do it right. Okay. All right, now we've got aluminum scrap feeding into these monkeys. Save. Okay, we're, we're just going to get... Okay, it's just in front of the line. feed the silica in still so I don't get overexcited 
And we're not going to have enough silica yet. We're going to have to pump in silica. We're going to have to do excess silica into this guy. But for now, we have all this. This line is the middle of it, okay. So how much silica am I pumping out? I've got five pumping out. So I've got 250 silica coming out of this guy, which I think is Mark IV. Right? Oh, we aren't Mark III, actually, but whatevs. So that is now feeding into these guys. Uh, these, I realize, don't have what they need to be doing. There we go. So now, 125 a minute times six. So I need to be making 750. I need to get 750 silica a minute. I'm pulling in 250 right now. So I need 500 more silica from somewhere. And I'm getting 600 aluminum ingots per minute once we get that. Once we get the silica up to snuff, we're spitting out 600 aluminum ingots. So silica comes from quartz, right? I don't think I have any quartz. I have this here. That's like the nearest quartz I have. It's way up north. Oh, those are the ones in the cave. Yeah, so... Where is... A bit loud, sorry. Right there. So quartz is the one thing that I... Forgot. <laughs> Forgot about. That is not anywhere near. So silica. I'm going to have to train in silica from somewhere. Lots and lots of silica. This. I'm pointing at the screen like you guys can see. This silica up here. I think I'm only using one of them. Oh, this this quartz. Excuse me. This. I'm pretty sure I'm only using one of these quartz nodes to make uh, circuit boards. So, um, so first of all, let's go ahead and just do this. This for now. second now. There we go. Always one. Always one. And then we'll just sink him for now. So we got aluminum going. Okay. How many how many things we got? Ooh, 120 coupons. Thanks. Uh 
So, I need silica. I need lots and lots of silica. Look at this pipe, like, bows. That's interesting. So this should theoretically... Oh, right, one, one, eight. Once this... 42%, this should, hypothetically, hit a point where... We're getting full... Full juice out of it. I think maybe the silica was backed up, honestly. And it was preventing these from going. Maybe. This water's really low. I wonder if maybe I should add in a water buffer over here somewhere. And let it fill up and then push it all through. Uh, mixing T1 and T2 pipes in a single pipe network can cause math issues. Really? Okay. That might be what it is. Because I've, I've got a 600 pipe coming this way from my feeders over there. And they feed in. And then I have 300 from the other end also feeding in. I'm pretty sure I put a valve over here, right? Did I not? Oh, I didn't. Okay. Let's, let's put a valve in. Just, to, just for gigs. I think I may have put one further back there. Or maybe I took it out, actually. No, it's right there. Okay. So I do have a valve. What just happened? It suddenly went from, like, nothing. Now it's, like, super filling up. All right. Don't know what I just did there, but that may have, that may have helped it. Yeah, look at this. This is, like, full. Okay. I think putting that valve in just amped up the amount of water it's pulling out. Yeah, look at that. It's filling up quickly now. Okay, cool. Maybe maybe this valve did, did the trick. These valves, for some reason, if you just sprinkle in valves, it seems to help out a whole lot. So, put a pump in where the water goes up coming from the feeders. I don't think made the math recalculate. True. That's actually may have been it. See, now it's slowing down. It's weird. Um, I don't think I need a pump. I don't think I go very high. I don't... God, Siri, Jesus Christ, <laughs> this scared the crap out of me. Uh, that's not 10 meters, right? Because I only need to go 10 meters up. So that's four. Right, okay, so if I do this, four. Eight. Oh, it's like right on the line. I don't think I need one. I mean, I guess I could put one in here. Just for just for giggles. Um. I mean, the fact there's water up there. I spam T2 pipes every year. Resources are free. I mean... I could do like this. Again, I don't it doesn't need it, I don't think, but I guess it can't hurt. I mean, I mean it'll really just push it up more, but anyway. Well, I do want to do this. I want to do that. Come on, right at the autosave. Right at the autosave. There we go. And then... Just get rid of that clipping line there. Actually... There we go. All right, well... Yeah, silica is what's going to kill me here. So I need to get 500 silica, is what it comes down to, in order to get myself 600 aluminum per minute. So I need to get another 125 times 6, 750. Just to do math again, 750, right? But over here, once these are 
all running at capacity. I'm making 50 a minute out of here. Why is this? I gotta figure out that water solution here. I might have to pump in more water. How about one, two, three, four, five? Making 50 a minute, which is 250. So 750 needed. I'm making 250. That means I need 500. So. Yeah. So I need 500 a minute of silica. And real quick, I'm just going to do one last little bit of math here. Uh, production. It's constructor, I think. All right, silica. 37.5 per minute. So 37.5. By 37.5. 13 and a third. 13 and a third. We can round that. Oh, we'll round that down to 13. Okay, so 13 and a third times 22.5. Can I do this? So I need 300. That's doable. That's actually doable. It limits water flow to 300 minute. What? Are you guys fighting in there? OG Lord Scion. All right. So I need to find 300 quarts a minute. Here, will, will this make you happy? Well, if I just do... Here, we'll do... do, do, do. Here we go. Well... Put you there. There. Everyone's happy? Is it at, well, let's see here. Okay, so pop, a pump line. Uh, can be attached to a pipeline to apply head lift. Maximum head lift 20 meters. Allows fluid to be transported 20 meters. Note has in and output direction. Head lift does not stack, so space between pumps is recommended. Same thing. It's just, it's just the height. I don't think this amount of water, it floats. Look in the placed UI. Oh. So this shows max flow rate 600 a minute. If I do another one. Can I, can I fit one in anywhere? Well, here, I can just look at that. Max flow rate 600 a minute. So right there. So they both do 600 a minute. There we go. Problem solved. Everyone's happy. I got a fancy one though now, so that's all that matters. All right. Now we're out of now we're out of water. <laughs> we're out of water again. Why? Why why is this why? Why are you going down so much? I guess do I not need water? I mean, this should just be This is why I want to add a buffer. I just want to add a fluid buffer like in the middle here. Just so it always has water here. Let's do this. Just for my own freaking sanity. Just. All right. And then... Why not? Sure. And then what we'll do is we'll do that, and then we'll close it. Come on. There. Fill. Make my monster grow. Why is it? Why is this? This should just be filling like nonstop. I don't get it. Let's throw valves in. Why? What? <laughs> I think I found the problem, you guys. Did I just never connect these? Oh, 
Ah! All right, well, found the problem, you guys. Uh, someone never, never, never plugged in these pipes here. How? How did I miss that? How? <laughs> I'm, I'm like deeply shocked that I just spaced out and missed that entirely. That is, that is genuinely impressive. Ugh. Oh. Oh, look at it go. Look at that. Look at that water flow. Oh my god. How how ridiculous. How silly of me. How did I miss that? <laughs> All right. Well, that might solve some of our problems. Some of our some of the issues we were having with water. Look at that fill up pretty quick. This thing's going to fill up. Oh man. Water, water, <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. With with that note, I clearly need to hit the sack. I will. We will deal with getting silica over to the aluminum area. We will. We will deal with uh, with constructing. I'm assuming. I don't know what all uh, what all needs to be made out of aluminum. I know I've got my casings and I've got. My, um, uh, what are those things? Uh, casings, all clad stuff, and, um, the other thing. Uh, containers, nitrogen containers, right? Is that what we were doing? Why we were doing this? I think, sure. And then we'll go through, um, I might off stream go over and tear out the old facility because I don't need it anymore, uh, and reroute some uh, some stuff. So, that might happen off off camera. Um, but yeah, all right, this is gorgeous looking spaghetti. Look at all that. Love it, just love it. Oh man, all right, well thank you so much. I'm glad you guys got to witness be me being a complete moron there. All right, water's capped out, water's filling up, this is good. I wonder if the water is going to be... Yeah, he's filling up on this side too. All right, that's... I think we did it. We got it. We got our 900 water. <laughs> and that, this is getting close to running, like, nonstop. It's, it's, it's chugging a little bit, I think. And that's probably due to silica, honestly. So, anyway. All right. Well, we will, we will build a silica plant. Um, something that simple, honestly, I may end up just doing off-camera because uh, it's literally just mining and mining quartz and turning it into silica, which I think I already have the mine. I just have to convert it to silica, throw it into a train station. So should be should be pretty easy. So that'll do it for me tonight. Thank you very much. Everybody. Oh, we got to take a photo. Let's take a photo. Um, let's see here. We'll take a photo. Ooh, bouncy. Thank you. Uh, we'll take a photo of our new aluminum area. Get up here. Maybe. Let's let's build ourselves a little platform. Uh -huh. Thanks for ruining the shot there, boss. Perfect. You're gonna be right in the middle of the shot. I love it. Love it. Or you know what? Let's let's take a photo of the um the, that spaghetti in the middle. I actually like that spaghetti in the middle. Let's see if I can get on top of uh beautiful. Alright, that's cool. This works. Yeah, that's cool. Kind of modern arty. Alright, let's Pires on. We'll get some of the uh, silica popping out. There's no silica coming out of the middle. There we go. Cool. All right. There we go. Beautiful. All right. I love it. 
We're at 195 hours played in this one. Beautiful. So, thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in tonight. This was a uh, very, very positive night. Very, very happy night. I appreciate it. To boredom, 23 months. Thank you very much. Hope you and Katie are fantastic, or might I say satisfactory. So I just got here to have a textbook of puns. Thank you very much. Chibi Acer, thank you for those bits. 40 hours played in all the streams I watched. I didn't realize Fix It was a pun until I noticed the stream title. <laughs> wow. Wow, Chibi. Been a long one. It's been a long one. All right. Uh, I'm going to turn this. Down. Actually, I'll just, do, I'll just do this. I'm just going to just exit to desktop and you know, make the noise go away. So that's going to do it for me tonight. Uh, thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in. If you're in the uh, Central Texas area, hopefully you're staying safe. Hopefully you're, you're nice and warm. I appreciate you guys so much. Yeah, seriously, though, it was a very, very cool night tonight. I really do. I, I, I like all of the uh, the love that you guys are spread around. So thank you very much for that. I'm going to send you guys off to somebody. Who should we send you to? Who is who is awake right now? Uh, you know, I'm going to send you to my buddy. My buddy Jackson's playing Dead Space right now. So looks like he's right at the end of it. So if you don't want to spoil Dead Space, and you don't, or you don't want like louder, angry stuff, then uh, you know. Maybe maybe tune away, to like get away from it. But you know, sitting my this is my buddy Jackson. He's an awesome, awesome dude. Love him to death. So that's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much. If you randomly came in here tonight, I appreciate you. Hopefully, you'll give me a follow. That would be super awesome. And if you are following, maybe someday you will become a warden because the wardens are just like the best people on the planet ever, and I love all of them. They're the greatest. Lots of good positive stuff tonight. Don't forget to check out my YouTube channel, youtubecom Patillo. That's where I put all my archives up in 1440p. They're all up there. You can go watch that. And uh, of course, Christian Casavara and Zard, my three mods, are the best. They're like so nice. They make my life so much easier. So mad props to them. So if you're out there, take care of yourself. And if you have the means to take care of each other too, let's make this planet the best one we possibly can. All right. Love you guys. Stay safe. Say hi to Jackson for me. And I'll see you next Tuesday for another stream. Y'all take care, everyone. Bye.